Hello, Sillaholics, and welcome to Sillaholics Anonymous. I am Shakia, the professor, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to create an easy view guide for the I Love Glitter glyphs. Now, technically, you can do this for any font that you have glyphs for. Some fonts have a whole bunch of glyphs, and it can be a time-consuming process, but if you break it up, if they have a lot of them, you can definitely create yourself your own easy view guides. But the glitter, um, I love glitter font, doesn't have too, too many of them. So this is a great one to show you how to do this um, and be able to do it quickly or you know, in a good amount of time. All right, we're gonna go ahead and go over to our window. And this is what we are going to create. This makes it so much easier to utilize these glyphs. Before I show you how to create the guide, let me just show you how this guide works. So if I were to come over here and type out my name, I'm gonna make that bigger, come to the A on the right hand side and choose I love glitter. And let's make that a, a color that you guys are gonna be able to see. All right, and I'm gonna select all of this. This is one of the things that I love about Design Edition or above is the Properties Dropper. I'm gonna click on this and then click here so that this, oh, it made them too big. Okay, so that might be a little bit too big. Let's undo that. Um, I'll be able to adjust it afterwards. But let's say I want to add this to the end of my A. I would double click on here, highlight it, copy, come over here, double click, right click and paste. Or if you know how to use your um, keyboard shortcuts, you can use the keyboard shortcuts as well. All right, let's go ahead and move this over here. So let's put in the S. So we're gonna come over here, double click, Highlight the S and copy. Come over here, double click, highlight the S and paste. So it's going to replace the S that is there. And you can add more and more to this. So depending on what it is that you are typing, let's go ahead and type in because this is always used for like mom, although they put the mom in a different font. I'm just gonna go mom. All right, let's make this the I Love Glitter font. Go ahead and fill this in with color. So let's say I want to use this one here. So we're gonna select this heart, copy, double click, come in front of the M. And if you know how to use your keyboard shortcuts, Control V is paste and that will put that in there. We're gonna move this, ooh, didn't mean to move that over. All right, let's go with this swirly right here. So we're gonna highlight that and copy. Come down here, double click, Control V to paste it. So that one doesn't connect, so we can try and find one that would connect. Let's go with the, let's go with this heart. Well, let's go with one of the solid ones. So we're gonna select here and copy. Come over here, Control V, paste. There we go. So you can see how easy it would be to utilize this and be able to see all of the available glyphs and you don't have to look at them really small. You can make this as big or small as you need it to be to be able to see it and then just copy and paste to fill it in. So that's how you use it. Now let's go over how you would make something like this. I'm gonna delete. We're gonna go over to the A and click on here. And we're going to come up to the glyph guide, go to, uh, oops, let's first make this, well, I'm gonna go to I Love Glitter. I'm gonna show you, if I start to fill this in, I'm gonna click off and we're gonna come down here. There we go, all right. Um, oh, well, I actually did fill it in, so we are good. 
I'm going to move this up, maybe shrink it down just a little. All right. I'm going to shrink this down some so it's not too big. I'm going to highlight this. So for the standard letters, you don't have to use this for because you can just type those out. Um, although you can use the um, shift and the eight, the underscore and the for it slash, I am going to include those in here because it's just going to make it a lot easier. But you're just going to click in and it's just going to put them in as if you are typing them out. So we're going to go here. And I don't see the heart for the top. Not sure if I passed it. Oh, no, there it is right there. Okay. And I'm just going to hit enter to go down to the next line. And we're going to find the actual glyphs. Now, some of these here are just accents. If you, um, like if you're in a particular language, you need the accents, you can definitely go through here and use it. I don't typically use any of these because I don't have to. Um, I just write everything in just, you know, basic American English. So we're gonna scroll past all of these with the little accents at the top. And here is where the glyphs start with the lowercase. So we're just gonna type, we'll just click on all, each one of those, there we go. So there we go, click, 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 click. Now, if you want, you can do this ahead of time versus afterwards. I'm gonna hit enter so you can see what I'm talking about. I'm gonna click space, oh, it's not doing space. So we're gonna have to do it afterwards. I thought I can do it before. I normally do it afterwards. So we're just gonna do like I did um, originally. So I'm gonna stop there because that's all of my lowercase. I'm gonna come on this side, start a new text box and type these in. We're gonna make it a little bit bigger first. And let's also fill this in with color and continue to And these are all like little T's. I don't really need those. So I'm going to skip those and come here. I'm going to hit enter and then just keep going through these. Every so often I'll hit enter just so that I can have them on a different row. Although I'll be able to do that um, in the next step also. So just going to go through this, um, selecting all of them. Now here are some additional lowercase letters. They are a bit different. So you can start a new text box for those. You're gonna click off, I'm gonna move this up, start a new text box, click on here, click off, make it just a little bit bigger, fill it with color, and then get behind that and proceed to copy these in. And I forgot where I left off. I think this is the last one because now it's like just the little accents. So I don't want those. I'm gonna scroll past all of those and go, the next one should be the uppercase letters. Um, yep, there we go. So we are at the uppercase that have glyphs on them. So we're gonna click on the A again, scroll down and click. Click on the A, click off make that bigger. Let's go ahead and fill that in with color and proceed to type in or click in all of the others. All right, and the others are all the ones with like little accents on them. So that's all of them. Now, they can be pretty close together and hard to see. So you're just going to double click um, um, after the first one. You're gonna hit your space bar once or twice. 
and then hit your arrow key, um, your arrow to the right, space bar, space bar. Oops, too many. All right, so now they're spread out so that you can see them. I won't uh, destroy your ears again with the tap, 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 but you would do that for all of your, let me delete that. So you would do that for all of these to just put that space um, in between. So that you can see all of them clearly want you would then, go ahead and select them all go ahead and i'm going to make them one color and then just shrink it down now some may appear to be smaller than others then we're going to zoom in so we have our first set our middle set and we could probably move these to down here so i'm going to double click Go up here, highlight, and then right click and cut. Come down here, come to the end, double click, right click and paste. So now we have those accents with the other ones. If you wanna add these lowercase to the ones that are here, you can do that also. Just double click, highlight them, cut. Come down here, double click, click in the front. The space bar, right click and paste in front and put some space and then you can spread those out as well if you don't want to have a bunch of different like individualized sections. But you can see here, that's what I did. I have just three, se three sections, the uppercase, the accents, and then the lowercase options. So we went through a lot of how to set this up. So if you forgot how to go back, how to actually utilize this quick viewer, just go ahead and rewind back to the beginning and you will see how to use this quick view when you are typing out and using this font or any other fonts that have glyphs and you have created yourself an easy view guide. Hopefully this video was helpful for you guys. If you did find it helpful, uh, be so kind as to hit the thumbs up to let me know that it was helpful for you. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the bell so that you won't miss any new content that I put out. If you are on Facebook, visit our Facebook group and become a member, Silaholics Anonymous slash Silhouette Help. Also visit our website, shop.silaholicsanonymous.com where you will find our Honestly Speaking line of products. We currently have Submission Ink, Submission Paper, uh, Pigment Ink. Um, you can sign up for classes, get templates and files and other essential resources. So be sure to visit our shop, shop.silaholicsanonymous.com. If you do not have Design Edition or above, in the description of this video are some very, um, helpful links and convenient links to get you over to the site where you can purchase those upgrades for a discounted price than what you would find on silhouetteamerica.com's website. So be sure to check out all of the links in the description as well. All right, guys, until next time, have a great one. Peace.